congratulations. Thank you. Thank on you. the nominations. Thank How does you it so feel? Much. It's fantastic on a day like today, doesn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. It was lovely in there. You wouldn't know what goes on. I mean, having watched the Oscars since I was a child, um, you don't know what goes on, of course, behind the scenes. But to, today was this Oscar luncheon, and it was just a celebration. The community celebrate themselves. I'm sure I know the world is a bit sick of all those rich people, <laughs> successful people celebrating each, each other. But the bottom line is just really positive in there. There's no sense of competition. No sense of competition. Because on the night, I'm sure that sneaks in. Of course it does. You know, I mean, sure, of course it does. Well, the nature of it is that one person gets separated, but there was no separation in the room today. No. It was just everyone yeah. cheering each other. And look, I've said before, and I say again, I'm a fan of film before I was a fan, uh, an actor, and I, I will be a fan of film right. if I ever give up acting or I'm told to walk away from it. Um, so to be there and just be see so many of the actors and actresses and filmmakers and musicians like Dan Warren and like it was just oh, yeah. it was as a fan it was just gorgeous wasn't it really beautiful, positive yeah. beautiful chatting away to each other were you guys parents. seated together no they split no, they smart separated enough. you no, How smart dare enough, they? that would be like a nightmare at a wedding <laughs> but yeah. it was kind of pretty great there because you were pushed into a kind of a situation where you did meet people from different disciplines and not just kind of swim around your own little pond yeah, uh, and it was really, it was, it was really great to do a big photograph then, and like there's a lot of people oh, up the class there, photo, yeah. right across the whole industry, uh, and they call out everybody singly and all line up. You get this photograph that's kind of historic, it's and like then a graduation. I never finished high school, so it's like, <laughs> it's like I finally graduated at 46. Never too late. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Oh my god. So no, no, it was, it was that. It was it feeling that we're all trying to do the same thing, really, yeah. and that, and that we just we get a chance to. Really sort of love it. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. I mean, you guys have been friends since what, 2008 is when you first met? Something like that. We don't yeah. really count anniversaries, so we're not quite sure of the date. Yeah. yeah, yeah. A long time. You know, we've gone beyond go anniversaries. Back. <laughs> yeah, we met we met in the Chelsea Hotel, so it's been a while, and we did obviously in Brewster together, and that's when it kind of. Uh, settled in and then Martin says I'm going to mess that up and have them all kind of detest each other and uh, find each other dull yeah. yeah so that's what he did with the movie and he still tried to but we didn't he first didn't film was a love story and this one was a divorce oh yeah. it was so heartbreaking it really was and yeah. that's what it's about like at the end of the day is this breakdown of a friendship essentially at its core yeah and how the, the violence of that bleeds out into the community yeah. So being that you guys are actually really good friends, was that difficult then to pivot and to ice each easier. other out? Because we never got into the, the love between the two of them. Like it never, you, never yeah, really you see, see the see friendship. Jesus, mm -hmm. on the second page, he's already drawn the line in the sand and saying he doesn't want to be my friend anymore. Right. So I, the love that I have for this man, you know, made it easy to just bleed into the sense of loss that was a result of the separation, you know, and forced right. separation, the cruelty. Yeah, yeah, it was good. It, and it was good in that we work in fairly similar ways as well. Like we didn't need to kind of give each other space except when we needed to do it on set. But there was no uh, there was no estrangement required for us to kind of in, yeah. in the way that we process what we do mm -hmm. in our process. So like um, it meant we could actually have a chin wag about stuff outside of the thing, along with Martin, obviously, and you know as part of the thing. But it was interesting just being able to compare notes a small bit about it. like we came across this idea that our jobs were to make the other person's lines difficult to say. Because yeah. I began to find it increasingly difficult to say what I had to say, which is fairly cruel at times. It uh, was. Because, he, because it was clear that, you know, the damage that it was doing. But there were different needs. My needs, I, I kind of felt superseded because I, I thought it was actual survival, to be mm -hmm. honest. I think he was mm -hmm. suicidal. And uh, so, you know, having this situation here where we could kind of compare notes about why am I finding this difficult to say, and the reason you find it difficult to say is because it's whatever is happening is real. I think you know you're yeah. reacting to somebody. You can't not see that somebody's upset. Right, right. So that's yeah. just the way. So that was kind of pretty cool. Yeah. One more question for you, Colin. Yeah. Um, if you do win the Oscar, <coughs> are you going to be celebrating at some point by going to McCarthy's? <laughs> um, McCarthy. Oh my God, poor Adrian. So poor Adrian. You know what I mean? She said. Whatever, she said something to Adrian McCarthy's the owner. Do you know we're from McCarthy's pub down in Castletown Bear? Did you ever go to McCarthy's? No, I, oh, I should have, where the Fiddle Fest is. Is it right down yeah, there? I think they, yeah, yeah. So Adrian now, she's generated, her father, her father owns it and opened it, and she runs it now with her sister. And I was down there a while ago, and she spoke to the Irish examiner or something, I don't know who, <laughs> and she said that I was barred oh, 25 God. years ago oh. for something outrageous. <laughs> So now my publicist, it's gone everywhere, it's gone global, and Adrian's probably kicking herself, probably oh feeling God. terrible about saying it. I, I'll always go I'm back sure. to McCarthy's. 
things are a bit different now that Coca-Cola is what's on the menu. You know what I mean? Yeah, right? things are a bit more stable, shall we say? There we go.